take this pole I'm going to turn using nothing but gouges. Again, this is going to be at high speeds. This is at production speeds. I am a professional turner. I am comfortable with these speeds. And like again, like the car driving commercials when they're doing all the fancy spin outs and stuff, professional driver on closed course, do not attempt. This is safe for me. Uh, I've worked my way up to it. This piece of wood has a little bit of bark on here. So that means I have to turn that, get rid of that before I turn the speeds all the way up. This little spot here looks a little bit funny. There could be a micro crack down in there, which might be where that color stain came from. So I'm going to turn and make sure that this is all good solid wood before I really crank the speeds up. Now the weapons I'm going to be using here, this is a swept back grind. Basically this gives me a little bit more steel I can put into the wood. This is going to be used for roughing the outside of the bowl. This is more of what they call a fingernail grind, or I consider this to be a conventional grind bowl gouge, uh, fairly deep flute, V flute. This is my bottom of the bowl gouge, very blunt across here. It's about a 75 degree angle. That's great for going through the transition and going across the bottom of the bowl. So mount the blank. Make sure it's good and snug. Turn speed down to zero. Move this a little closer. So turn those rough and questionable spots off first. Got rid of all the bark. I don't see a crack up there yet. Move this a little closer. been roughed out and I'm going to take more of a smoothing cut. Across the bottom. Nice, smooth, ready to reverse. Speed down. That's running pretty good. Okay, it's running pretty true. Take a cut or two across the face to smooth that out, even it up. And 
Now turn the speed up. Round over the rim. Check my depth. Eight, and nine, sixteenths. I am right at a half an inch. One more pass with this. That's about all the farther I can go with that one. Bottom of the bowl gouge. Done bowl. Okay, you can see some of these tool marks down in here. I'm going to be using a scraper at a sheer angle to get those out of there. It's a lot easier to take them out with the tools than it is to sand them out. So working on the bottom part of the tool, very light pull cuts towards the rim. I'm going to turn my speed down a little bit for this. Very gentle pull cuts. That's just about all gone. Save some time sanding.